After a couple of weeks in Lake Macquarie, we're up early to take Pip ashore and then make our way out to the Swansea Bar. Conditions are good as we cross and with the light southwesterly blowing the sail is unfurled and we have a pleasant motor sail to Newcastle. We are soon rounding Nobby's head and making our way into the busy port, coal being the main export. The Hunter River is well marked and easy to navigate. We leave the river and head to the cruising yacht club marina in Thorsby's Basin. After fueling up we decide to book a berth for a week so we can relax, explore and enjoy Newcastle. As well as hard stand facilities, there is a sail maker in the marina and we decide to have some stitching repaired at the foot of our headsail. Unfortunately, we discover that the top bearing on the furler has jammed and one of us has to go up and free it. I draw the short straw, and I'm not all that keen on heights. But with a bit of coaxing, the problem is soon fixed. Apart from the rigging work, there is plenty of time to explore the town. The waterfront is very modern and presents a great facade to the older historic parts of Newcastle. We came into Newcastle a few nights ago to grab some diesel. The marina staff are extremely helpful and friendly. The facilities are A1, the best we've seen on the coast actually. The shuttle bus runs daily for excursions further afield and there's a regular train service to Sydney. If it's the nightlife you enjoy, the waterfront at Newcastle has an abundance of cafes, restaurants and hotels. A modern marina, with excellent amenities and friendly staff, what more could you want? We've certainly had a great stay here. Our week is up and the sunrise provides a magnificent backdrop as we motor out of the river.
light conditions again and an easy 30 nautical miles sees us anchoring in Shoal Bay where we will await the tide for a further exploration of Port Stephens. <laughs>